Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to have a play with some 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and make something really pretty from it. Uh, something that you may not normally use. So let's get going. I've got one piece here. This is uh, one sided and that this lends itself well to what we're going to do today is having a, a blank side. So first we're going to spray with some coffee, coffee water. I like to try and get get those um, bigger um, pieces in there. Um, really looks nice in the end. Okay. And I have some Mika powder. I hope that's how you say it. Let me know. Well, it'd be kind of hard for you to let me know, isn't it? <laughs> Mecca powder, Mika powder, M-I-C-A powder. <laughs> anyway, I have some in a spray bottle mixed with 70% uh, alcohol. So we're going to give that a squirt. Get over there in the corners. Okay, and um, let's see, what else do we want to do? Anything? Let's see. Well, uh, let's see here. It's a green color. Ah, oh, this is kind of a bronze color. Oh well, give that some squirts. Okay, so now we're going to have to let that dry, but through the magic of <laughs> television, no, through the magic of video. I am going to dry this and we'll be right back. Okay, all nice and dry now. Uh, now we're going to take, now you could use anything you have. You could use stamps. You can use um, stencils, uh, any any number of things you can use. Um, you could use uh, acrylic paints um, to do this. You could you could just coffee dye it. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Let's see, I'm trying to find, there it is, <laughs> this script just bugs me because I can't tell which way it goes. All right, so I am going to apologize for the light, um, I've got a little bit of late afternoon and the light is coming through the window and so I apologize if that's causing a problem with being able to see. So I'm going to take some gold and go over the script and see how that looks. So 
So you just want to do this stuff kind of randomly. Um, you don't want to have any, necessarily any, you know, patterns developing or anything like that. Just, just a random thing. So I'm going to try a different color here. Do that. Up here. And a bit there. That's a really pretty color. This is um, graphic 45 um, decades is the color. It's a really pretty blue color. I really like it. It's very muted and subtle. A little bit down here, going off the page. Okay. And, um, I think this was a large stencil that I, I kind of cut it up. <laughs> I kind of wish I hadn't done that now, but it was so big and I don't know, one day I just got frustrated with it, so I cut it up. And uh, I really wish I hadn't done that, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> so we're just going to... We're just gonna go with it now, cause I, there's you know elements of the stencil I really like. I mean I like the stencil itself. It was just so big, and I don't know something I was working on at the time. It just you know, it was kind of difficult, and so I, <laughs> in one of those um, you know moments of total frustration. I just took the scissors and <laughs> cut it up. So get some black. Oh, I used um, just now I used archival ink in the potting soil. And this one is the archival ink in the jet black. I like I like this black because even though the name of it says jet black, it, it's not really a uh, harsh black, if you know what I mean. It's I don't know, it's more subtle. Let's see. Where else do we need some? Yeah, what do we think? Oh, I am so sorry for for that. I I really hope it's not causing a huge problem. I just don't know how. You know what that you know what these little dots are coming from? <laughs> um I actually I'll show you. Hang on. Ooh, maybe I'll show you. There we go. See, I have one of those um, pegboard things from Ikea. And um, what I didn't realize when I got it, I thought you could put those boards either um, portrait or landscape. So landscape would have been perfect right here in front of my desk on the wall. Would have been perfect. Um, as it turns out, you can't put those things landscape because if you do, uh, the little things that hook into it don't work. So I had to put it um, portrait and so it's sticking up a little bit and uh, it gets 
catches the light from the window. And because it's right there, I can't close the window shade all the way. So, you know, <laughs> it's kind of a one thing or another. So, yeah, I hope you can see that okay. Um, yeah. So, what do you think? I'm liking it a lot. I like how that turned out. So now we got our own custom made paper. Now from here, you could do any number of things, right? I mean, you could cut this into tags, into journaling cards, you know, all kinds of stuff. But what we're gonna do is make a little uh, foldy thing that you can put in your journals. So what we want to do is, and this is a 12 by 12, although I'm sure you could use any size paper. It would just, you know, be smaller. But, you know, I think you could use any, any size paper as long as it starts out you know, a square. So fold it that way and then fold it this way. And try and get it even. Okay. So there, we got it. Now, you want to decide um, what you want as the front and what you want as the back. I mean, yeah. So, if I do that, so I, actually, I want my design to be the cover, sort of speak. So I, I think I, I think you go this way with it. So you bring it up on one side. You know, you bring this up as as deep as you want your pockets to be. Okay, so they could be, you know. Any, any size you want. You turn this over and you bring up the other side and try and get it to where, you know, both, both sides are relatively the same. Okay. Now from here, you need to pick the, the left side, right? Hold this out. So this is what we have. Looking at it like this, you want to pick this left side and cut right up where that fold is. Just to the middle fold. Okay? So... This is what you have now. Let's cut right to this middle fold. So you come down like this. Bring this over. Now what you can do here, okay. So fold that out like that. And you can angle your cut like so. And that way, you're going to eliminate some of this bulk in here. Same way with the other side. If you fold them in half going this way, then you've got the same, the same cut on both sides, if that makes sense. Ugh. So, there we go. So now we've eliminated a lot of that bulk, right?
Okay, this is not right. Let's, let's try. Okay, this way. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so bring this back down. Yeah, so you just want to make sure you don't get yourself all, all confused in doing that. <laughs> After you make a few, um, it, it'll go a lot better. Bring this in like that. Bring this one back like that. And... Hopefully everything matches up well. If not, I'm, I'm sure you can do a little bit of surgery with the scissors. You have this booklet and you open it up and you've got pocket, 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 and close. So you can just, you know, put some ephemera in here or photos or letters or whatever you want, you know, and and stick this into a journal. And this one here, um, you can glue this to that one, you know, and glue the whole thing. Or you can run your glue along here and along here only. And then what you end up with is a pocket in here if you want so that's you know that's an option that's a variation you can have a, have a nice nice pocket in there if you want i'm not going i'm not going to do a pocket because i i've made several of these and um i have I have made it with that pocket, and um, tell you the truth, I I don't really care for it. So, because then you just have to figure out what to put in that pocket. You have to make something, you know, that's going to fit in there. So, yeah, I, I just, I don't care for it personally. But that's, you know, that's an option that you have to this. So I'm just gluing that down well. I love using these cards. This is just fabulous. I don't know what I ever did before, to tell you the truth. Okay, now, oh. so we also want to Glue down our little pockets. Right there. And this side. Over here. I don't have any. Oh, there is a paper towel. I, <laughs> I tend to use up my dry wipes really quickly. Unfortunately, to have a dry wipe, you have to take it out of the little bag and let it, you know, dry out somewhere. <laughs> so, there you go. So, let's see, the side. So I hope everyone is having a good day, good week. It's a beautiful day here, albeit very hot. Which is not typical for Oregon. Especially this time of year. It's a little bit early for hot weather at all, let alone going to get way over a hundred. Okay, so 
there we go. Now I'm going to, so, you know, something went awry with my folding. <laughs> so you, you'll do better, I know. You'll do better. But something went awry with my folding. So I am just going to do a little bit of scissor surgery. And just, you know, make it all better. No problem. <laughs> no problem here. Turned out perfect, didn't it? Now, cutting it when the glue's still wet is probably not, not the best thing to do. Okay. So, there we are. Our cute little book. And I also like to round the corners. So, I'm going to do that with this upper corner. Oops. There we go. So, what do you think? I like it, don't you? So, we've got a book here, and we've got pockets for all kinds of, uh, you know, ephemera, or... You know, you could put tags in there. You could put little journaling cards in there. You could put photos. Um, all kinds of stuff. So a little pocket there, pocket there. And then um, you can, you know, decorate the outside here. Yeah, you can decorate the inside too, as far as that goes. But yeah, we've uh, turned an otherwise unused piece of um, 12 by 12 scrapbook paper into something really pretty that we can just um, stick in our journals. Let's see, I have a journal here that I just finished. And yeah, it just can stick right in there or you could use um let's see where 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 are they i know i have several in here there we go um, decorated um paper clip and you could use one of those and you know attach it in there like that that's nice. Um, you could also, if, if this was the right size, you know, this one's a little bit too long. But if you, if you cut down your paper when you start to be like 10 by 10, then um, it should fit this way in a journal. And you could just glue it down. You could just glue down the back side of it and have it open like that. So yeah, there's a lot of um, different things you can do with this. And like I said, depending on the size you start out with, you know, you could make a really, really small one. That would be, you know, kind of fun to see see how it turns out. Use, you know, like if you have any 6x6 six six paper pads or the 8x8 eight eight paper pads, uh, give it a go with one of those. So anyway, um, I hope you liked this little this little craft with me, and I hope it gave you a lot of great ideas for using up some of your um, scrapbook paper. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. So you can get notified the next time I have a video and join me in this journey together in journaling. Bye for now.